Alright, good morning everyone and welcome back. I just thought I would clear this place out on my own here this morning. I pick up the supply satchel, I got the main loot, and we're heading over to Bob's now to see if we can get a quest reward as soon as I dispatch Donkey right here. Alright, I'll meet you over there. And here we go. Trader Bob, good morning my friend. What do you got for me? I think probably... Oop. We got Desert Vulture Fire outside. Holy crap, we got a zombie outside as well. Get rid of him. Who's out here? Honestly, Desert Vulture, we heard that a few days ago, could be the same guy trying to track me down. No, I don't see him anywhere. All I see is... Yes, I do see him. I see him off in the distance there. All right, I'm gonna get on ground level and see if I can go track him down. All right, he's out. There's somebody just down there. So let's take care of Tommy here and see if I can sneak up on this guy. I've got seven rounds left. Yeah, definitely a raider there. Here, get a good sneak attack in on him and close the distance. Although be careful, because I don't think I can take too many shots. I don't have any Kevlar armor or anything. Yep, he's coming for me. Does he not even have a weapon? What's the matter, did you run out of ammo or something? Oh, maybe that wasn't him. He's got some rad be gone though. Cure radiation 25%. How do you like this laser pistol? That's good to have in a pinch. Why would he be unarmed though? I don't know. Definitely heard someone with a desert vulture. He might be just a part of a group that's out here searching for me. Well, if I hear it again, I'll go track it down. But for now, <laughs> look at the gore piles on the fence here. Bob's design is working well. This has to be alien technology. I've heard that there's an alien space shuttle crash around here somewhere. So I don't know. There could be aliens. There could be... Did you hear that? There could be tech that has been looted out of the alien space shuttle. But I am not alone here still. Okay, I definitely see where it's coming from. I think it's coming from the fence. I saw the muzzle flash over there. I, he it, he might be stuck on the fence over there. I, I, I don't know if he's friendly or not. I gotta go check on him. It doesn't look like a raider to me. No, no, I just jumped the fence and he shot me. Okay, definitely he is hostile to me. I'll put him out of his misery here if I can. All right, if I come down here around the corner, I should be able to kind of just sneak around. We'll take him down at range. Oh, he might be loose of the fence now, but he's dead now. Oh man, tell me you had the desert vulture on you still or it- Nope. Ah, it got destroyed by the fence. Crap. Well, busy morning here. Okay, let's get down to business now. Okay, before we do, let's go over what I picked up for loot this morning. Forge ahead, wiring books, traps. Uh, what's this one? Big hitters. Nice. And this one is for using no stamina while sneak sprinting. And I did just get a skill point this morning. Should I spend it or save it for something that requires two points? Because I think, yeah, we could do another point into Pummel Pete if we just kind of wait it out a little bit. I think I'll do that. So this is going to either be skill magazine bundle or what is this? Tis but a scratch. All those injuries have increased your resistance to most negative effects. White River Survival Guide Volume 4. If I look into the book list, I think I can get more specifics on that. Volume 4 adds a 20% resistance to most negative effects. It must be. Mm, I think that's probably pretty good to have. Okay, a new job for this morning. What is what is it with the fetches, man? The fetches. I don't like them. They don't pay as well. We'll do the clear zombies first at Dick's Diner. We gotta try to get some quest rewards that contain 762. I'm down to two bullets remaining. And I still do have the grenade molotovs. We're doing pretty good otherwise. And... Um, yeah, let's read that book and I'll just sell him some of this stuff here just to fundraise a little bit. And since we need some healing anyway, after getting shot with a desert vulture at point blank range, I'll eat some cat food and some chili. That'll have to do it for the morning, I think. All right, get rid of you and hop on the bike. We have 200 meters to go that way. Last night, I did make my way back to the old base in the forest biome. And I picked up the majority of our loot. There's still some stuff over there like nitrate powder, or rotten flesh, just stuff that we didn't have any pressing need for. But for the most part, we are over here now. But let me show you the map and I'll show you what I came across on my way over there. So there is a nice clean little mountain pass that goes through here in between the mountains here and the mountains here to the north. But there's this really interesting like it wasteland area here so i want to kind of go back there at some point over the next couple days and investigate that because if that is whoa 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 what is this holy crap run 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 i'm being stung ah ah oh no, no. okay i don't know what to do i'm gonna have to bail out and get the laser pistol out immediately okay run. Oh, ow, ow, ow. whoa 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 come on kill 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 ah! 
Okay. Wow, I killed it after wasting all of my ammo. But holy crap. I I don't know what's going on right now. We got to figure this out. We have Hunter Venom and a deep laceration. My armor is weakened. Okay. And there's one of those radiated dogs over there. I think I have some um, anti-venom stuff back at home. Oh, what did I get off of that guy? Hunter meat, hunter egg, and a venom gland, which is used to make anti-venom. I think I need to go home and get the anti-venom because um, it's going to last for 14 minutes. I don't want that all day. Oh my God. There are more of them. Oh, they're flying around everywhere. Run, just run. Get out of here. Get oh my God. They're all over the place. Okay. We're going to take the corner around the prison here and he's... No, he's not going to see me, hopefully. All right, home sweet home. And what do we have here? Anti-venom. Good. We got to definitely take that, use it. Hopefully that will fix things. Also have a deep laceration. Should be able to just suture that up. Okay, well, good as new. I can also just stash my stuff while I'm right here. And um, I think we can maybe look into cooking some of the... Yeah, the hunter eggs. Cool, we can make some scrambled eggs. I made a whole bunch of stuff last night. Death claw eggs, bacon and eggs. Even got a whole bunch of coffee, which I should probably just be having on the inventory from now on. Take some of that, take a bandage, and we're good to go. I'll meet you at the diner. Oh, geez, yes, I was gonna say, um, <laughs> there's a dog chasing me, but it is not a dog. It's like a freaking hellhound over there. It's radiated, and he's been here for days, <sighs> and every time you get close to him, he gives you like a radiation debuff. So I feel like we need to take care of him sooner rather than later. However, I don't know that I have the firepower or capacity to do so. Okay, maybe there's a scenario where I can jump on top of the tractor here or I, I don't know. Plus he's radiated, so maybe the better play here is to just draw him off if possible. Like just get him onto me here, ring ring and just kind of pull him down the street away from where we're trying to do a quest here. Yeah, it looks like this distance here is pretty safe. I don't want to get, too, oh, no, no, too close. Oh no, <laughs> crashed my bike. Yep, I'll drop him off down here at the end of the street and I will circle back around and hopefully we'll never see this guy again. All right, we were just in a Dick's Diner chain restaurant the other day, so I don't think we need to make a big deal out of this. We're just gonna clear it out and go collect our reward. And for our quest reward, yes, right there, 762. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, here's a look at the loot that I got. I did find a pretty good set of glove armor. Although we have the urban combat book where armor doesn't slow you down in combat, so I'm inclined to just continue wearing heavy armor. Got some books out of some mailboxes earlier today. Tech Chunky book here, craft robotic turret shells, some morning goldenrod tea, some miso soup, and yep, I think that's just about it for this place. We could do another quest, but it's getting a little late in the day and I do want to go check out the uh, the wasteland thing that we were talking about earlier Okay, I just dropped by the house the inventory is freshly stashed and we are light on our feet right now We gotta head straight down this road and just into the forest biome. We should find that interesting Wasteland ish POI right just getting to the end of the road. Look how many zombies that just passed by getting here That could be a problem and um, yeah, this is the spot right through here so I rode through here the other night on my way to home home, which is kind of like just over there. It's really not that far at all. But what is this place here? It says on the sign, Novak. Huh, no vacancy, I guess. It's a hotel maybe? I just heard a wolf howling. Oh my goodness, there he is. Dire wolf, in fact. Oh geez, and a nurse. Get you out of here. And hopefully I can get a good headshot in on that wolf there. If not, just jump on the bike and we'll kind of Try to run, kite him around a little bit. Same as we did the uh, the big boar thing, probably. All right, get this in position. Aim, fire. Okay, I'll put one swing in, for a headshot here, if I can. Whoop, knocked him down, okay. Continue. And, oh, I got him. Wow, I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a dire wolf there, but now my stamina is completely gone. And Terry Brady is closing in with Greg close behind. All right. That takes care of that. Okay, this is the place. Yeah, look at this big dinosaur out front here. There's gotta be something interesting up there. 
just grab that meat and I'll stash up the bike with it. Okay, I think everything is ready to go. I could search, I just searched a cop earlier, had two glue on him, so it's like, sometimes you get nothing, sometimes you get some pretty decent stuff off the zombie bodies. Murky water there. I don't really want to know where the murky water came from. All right, let's just push in here a little bit. I, I'm inclined to just kind of run right in, stir up anything that's out there. That way, if there's a whole bunch of animals or bear or something, or death claws for that matter. Oh, I can hear uh, some gunfire going off here somewhere too. But uh, yeah, I, I, I want to be able to kind of just run up, run away and get out of here. Yep, yeah, I do have a dog coming in. Took care of him. Yeah, but someone's got a sniper rifle here somewhere. Okay, otherwise we just have a whole bunch of sleepy zombies just standing right in the middle of the the ground here and I just got a skill point so that will go immediately to Pummel P. We were kind of saving up for that. Oh, I just said that the next one's going to be three points so starting to get very expensive to be a baseball bat user. Oh, geez, behind me. Okay. Where was that sniper rifle coming from? Definitely outside the compound somewhere. I'm sure I'll... Well, I'll look around for him on the way out of here. I got other things on my mind right now though what do you see in there anything i see a little bit of loot oh I, it's a rad soldier in there okay so that's what we're dealing with um rad soldier <sighs> do i even want to go in there <laughs> if that's the case wait a minute give me some wood around here somewhere is there a tree oh there's these little things right here this will have to do I definitely woke somebody up did I wake that soldier up? I did. Here, put that in. And I can't upgrade it yet. I'll see if I can maybe in a second. Angus. Oh, big Angus over here. I don't know if I can do this. I don't even, it doesn't even look like I'm hitting him. Here. Oh. Okay, we are running. And fire. Oops, I missed. Oh, also I caught the building on fire. Great. Ow. Okay, I, I definitely need some guns here. This doesn't do much, does it? No, oh, we're out of ammo now. Um, geez, we're, okay, to the dinosaur. If I can clamber my way up here, maybe I can get away. Okay, go, 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 up the tail, up the tail, up the tail. Oh, I made it. Um, I might have started a massive fire. My bad. Where'd that soldier go anyway? I think he's trying to go up inside. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, 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 okay. Gotta try to figure this out here. Yeah, he's, okay, okay, back up, back up, back up. Whoa! Ah! Ow! Run! Oh my god. There, okay. If I can get up this high, he can't get to me, I don't think. And definitely just get some first aid going. Oh man, a spider somewhere as well? Yep, I'm, I've burnt that whole building down. Hopefully there wasn't anything good in there for me. Okay, I'm fully healed. Let's just come down here a little bit and uh, drink a coffee so I can run a little bit better. Oh, I had a Mega Crush earlier too. I think I put it away at home. Where's the soldier at? Makes me wish I had that shotgun, although... Oh! Sniper rifle! I don't think the shotgun would do me a whole lot of good. Oh! Oh, I can hear him! Is he at the top of this tower? And is that where the soldier went? Oh boy. Um... Could be friendly, I guess. I don't know. I don't... I don't, <laughs> I don't really want to throw Molotovs blindly. <gasps> A rad biker. Okay, we gotta run now. Oh, there's that soldier there. We are going back into position on the tail here if I can. Whoop, there we go. This is bound to work eventually. I think I have the ammo for it, although that rad just keeps regenerating, so maybe not so much. Finally got him into melee range there, and on his way down, douse him with a Molotov. I didn't even check. I, I think the dinosaur is made out of concrete or cobblestone. <laughs> Definitely not wood, though. I think the, the, the shooter is over here. Is he in the mouth of the dinosaur? Okay, hang on a second. He, whatever is going on, he's taking some damage, so he might be able to take care of... <gasps> it's Allison Anderson and zombies. Oh boy. I will try to help him out. I don't know if friendly or foe, but... Either way. Oh, now he's shooting me. Definitely a foe now. You're on your own, buddy. Have at it. All right, I gotta see what I can do here to help, if it's even possible. Can I just clear that out of the way? And uh, I mean, I need both of these people to be dead here as soon as possible. Oh, there he goes. Are you shooting at me? Don't shoot at me, please. I'm leaving. I'm gonna kill you or die trying. Oh, please don't. This biker here is problem enough for me. Here, 
on fire with you. Oh, on fire with me as well, apparently. Here, coffee. Oh, oh, I just clubbed him right off. That was a pretty clutch hit right there. Okay, Anderson's not actually trying to kill me anymore, which is nice. Anderson might be hireable. Pretty aggressive, though. Okay, yep. The battle is back on. The, the, the biker just keeps making the loop around. Okay, be careful not to hurt uh, Mr. Anderson here. And... Oh! Whoa! Oh my god, I just finally got the kill. <laughs> Holy crap. What an ordeal this has been here. Okay, Mr. Anderson. Hello there. I hope we um, can make amends after our slight friendly fire incident there. I am definitely interested in hiring you for 15,000 dukes. I don't think I have enough. Did I have enough? No. Oh, we're just shy. Oh, are you going to stay here? Can you stay here for a little bit? I'll be right back, maybe, in a bit. Okay, landmines won't detonate when stepped on. Energy cell ammo, so I can reload the pistol a little bit. And what did this biker have on him? <laughs> Very small rocks, nice. How about that soldier, though? $55? Okay, he must have just got paid. Right, well, is that just a crawler there this whole time? I think I have my next objective in mind. Um, first of all, probably don't linger around here too much anymore. Oh, there's some nice racks up there. Because there are rads in here. This is definitely wasteland, and we're getting wasteland zombies. Um, I do- I should probably just head back to the trader and get money, and we'll come back and try to hire this guy. It'll be our first companion. The first member of the Brotherhood. And is this- This is not searchable. How lame is that? Just decorative gun pieces up there. Alright, yeah, and just turned nightfall, so... I think a good activity then for the night is to see if we can go get some more money. I can hear a screamer here he, anyway, so that's my cue. Ooh, lots of zombies there. And out of stamina here. Oh boy, ow, ooh. Give me a little push, thank you. All right, off to the house to get the sellables then. All right, I went home, I stashed all of my stuff, and I'm back here. I'm at the quest location. I figured we could knock this out, at least so that we have, we're not empty-handed going back to the trader there. We'll get a little bit more money as well. And I ditched the laser pistol for the scrap laser pistol because I just have a lot more ammo for this, and so I think that'll probably pay off for us. But I did want to just see if I could snag the supplies here. It's just a quick fetch. If we could just do a quick smash and grab here. Um, that would be great. I don't have to clear the whole place out. I'm not looking for the main loot. Just want that satchel. Hopefully it's just easily accessible. Got a crawler Arlene zombie back here. What's she hiding? A goldenrod seed. Might be able to pick up some food and stuff while we're here. Hey, apple pie, or blueberry pie, I should say. And nope, no mega crush, because I would down that immediately. Okay, satchel is just inside the kitchen here probably like on top of the fridge in here or oh it is and I just can't quite get my fingers onto it okay what's going on back here anyway zombies here whoop close that oh yeah just shut myself in here with a bunch of zombies brilliant move okay I do think we're okay though I think the plan will succeed ultimately zombie on the other side of this door no chance. Look at us being productive throughout the night. No longer hiding in our shelter at home. <laughs> I mean, you have to, to some extent, early on, but then you get to a point where you can kind of hold your own. And a big food pile here. Okay, some beer. Beer is good for drinking. Some more snacks there. And is this just the way out? It is. Okay, good to know. Who's waiting for me out here, though? Couple of soldiers, police officers. Actually, a lot of people out there. Where's the loot, though? Because I know I said I wasn't here for the loot, but, you know, <laughs> if it's right on the way, I don't think it is. I think it's on the rooftop, maybe. Yeah, here we go. Here's the main loot. Oh, soldier and other zombie. Okay, knock the soldier down and down and... Oh, crap. Test out the new pistol. Whoa. Okay, it does work pretty well. It's good to have. Not sure what the noise or heat generation is on something like that, but I don't hear any other zombies that made their way to me, so I'm inclined to say... Oh! Oh my god, it's death claws! A death claw horde is here! Oh, and thank goodness they're going after the zombies. Can I close that? Okay, close that, and we are gonna get the loot and get out of here. Quickly now, quickly, 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 get the Savage Country box open, and good. Okay, I don't know if my bicycle... It can outrun a death cloth. There are rads on the roof over there. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they're so loud, I think one's right underneath me. Yes. Definitely. I can see um, they're trying to break through the, the thing there. Where's my bicycle? It's straight over there. We gotta make a run for it, and I'm encumbered. Okay, and down we go. Run for it. Run for it. Get out of here. Onto the bicycle, and we're leaving. We're straight getting out of here. <laughs> we can hold our own at night now. Oh my god, it was a massive radiated death claw there. Okay, I think I've seen enough. I, I, we need to get out of here now. Someday I will have the firepower to confront those guys, but it is not this day. This day, we flee. I never actually confirmed it, but I do think that the trader is open at night. I suppose this will be our test here. Are we getting chased? Oh, it looks pretty good. The moon's coming out. Yeah, he doesn't have any technology like alien teleporters to teleport me out of here, so I think we're good. Four. Well, energy cells will be good for the actual laser pistol that we have, or we could do Molotovs, which will help on Horde Night for day 10. Uh, I'm going to go with the energy cells. I think that... Um, we have enough Molotovs for now. And a new job? Yes, he's got some clear zombie quests now. We'll do the one Would you to the west at the Shade Tree Auto. Sounds Thank good you. to me. And let's do a quick sell-off. Okay, that there puts me over 15k. And have you restocked? Should I check your inventory here a little bit? To get the motorcycle, we still need the motorcycle repair kit. Oh, a workbench. How far are we away from that? We are 11 magazines, which theoretically would only take... Two or three days. Restock day is day 10. Currently the day is day 8. The time is 2.50. Yep. Okay. So I will buy that if we can make a little bit more money. But having a companion, Mr. Anderson, is probably a little bit more important to me right now. So let's go back and see if we can snag up Anderson. And um, we'll, we'll station him at the base. Or I don't know. Maybe just bring him with us permanently. I'm not sure. I'll meet you back over there, though. Should make it there by morning. It just turned morning. That's just a feral, though. I was hoping he would die off. Here, let's... I think we can take him. He's got the injured ankle, so... There we go. Power attacks to the legs will, I think, slow the opponent. Or just straight up kill him. Nope, he's not dead yet. Dead now. There's a whole bunch of... Oh, other zombies around here too. Couldn't hear him coming. And I just leveled up. We'll search the cop for some iron. I think the area is relatively clear. So I think we can head in and see how Mr. Anderson is doing. We also have to start thinking about a horde base. And you know what? Holy crap, there's a screamer there. Got her. Yeah, uh, speaking of horde base, I mean, <laughs> could we set up a horde base in here? What is this? That's stainless steel, concrete. We know that the path, how the pathing works here. There's um, there's a nice little, like, we could just set up like a, a fighting position right in the mouth there. And uh, this is technically wasteland. So if all the loot bags fell down right here, we'd get that sweet bonus. Hmm. Worth, definitely worth considering. We could even have a system where they fall down onto the barbed wire. It'd be kind of funny to look at. But they they can also... Yeah, we could take out this staircase here so they couldn't make it up inside. But um, there's the issue of them wanting to crawl up the tail, which we've seen. Which... How... How could we stop that? I think... Actually... That... The, if we if we took out that block there and that block there, that would cut off the tail, basically, for the monster. And uh, that would kind of redirect zombie flow to the front, where we could make like a ladder or a ramp that takes them up to the top. I, I'm liking the sound of this by the minute. Well, let me know what you would think of that. And we have to make a decision here either today or tomorrow, because basically we need to start construction. And, uh, oh, you know, this is Mr. Uh, that was Mr. Anderson's idea anyway, is to just hang out up here and snipe. Yeah. Good visibility. Uh, we could do something to kind of make it a little bit more fortified up here. But yeah, I think this is going to work. Okay, so interested in hiring you. 15 grand. And, uh, since you have all the money now, you're buying breakfast. What do you got here anyway? You got some miso soup? I'm taking it. Oh! <laughs> was that just pumpkin cheesecake hanging out in that pile of gore there? Well, I appreciate that's a, that you splurged. I wasn't expecting that good of food. What about in this one? He just dove right out of the, the mouth here. Are you okay? 
Are you down there somewhere? All right, I'll be down in a second. Where'd you go, bud? Not sure where he went. He's probably packing his stuff, he, you know. He's coming with me now, so. Whoa, jeez, you scared me. What are you shooting at? Man, robbing people's awesome. Did you say robbing people is awesome? I don't know if I'm gonna have to keep you around, keep an eye on you here. Lucky looter book here, find more junk and loot, 20% more, and a blade book. And there's some more stuff trapped in the rubble here. Another forge ahead. One more. Fireman's Almanac. Greater hyperthermal resistance. And there's one stuck over here as well. For a semi-mod schematic. I'll sell that one. And um, craft puffer coats with this book here. I can craft. Oh, yeah. Take them out. I can craft double pocket mods. I've already read that book. There we go. Oh, I got shared XP for that. Nice. So if I can get some more cloth, that was, I think I crafted like one single pocket mod and then I was like, holy crap, I can craft doubles. So I need more cloth to do that though. It's like a hundred a pop. So strong consideration to hit up a savage country if we see uh, one. Fresh air. It's nice to have you around, man. Someone to talk to, someone to watch my back. Nice. Oh man, I'm feeling confident now. Well, speaking of that, we do have a quest to do this morning, but I did see a cool vending machine in here, so. I want to poke in here and see what's going on. Four grip mod schematic. Oh, zombie in the back here. Let's break him out. Also, dog. Um, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going Oh, no, no. Don't shoot the vending machine. Silly. Oh, the dog is in the back there. No Molotovs allowed. I, I thought about it for about two seconds and I thought better of it. But, sniper rifle? Yes. Zombies in the back. Okay, Anderson's got the back. I got the front here. All right, I saw the XP come in, so yep, there we go. Man, you're good to have around. Hopefully it'd be worth the money. That was a lot of money, and it's preventing me from getting the workbench, so... Would you watch... You got a sniper rifle, man. Use it. Hip firing and stuff like that's gonna get you killed. Whole bunch of books here in the back. Whoop. Look out. Yeah, otherwise, not not much going on here. I don't... This is like a hotel. There's some cloth there. We need that. But it doesn't seem very much like a hotel yet. I don't know what's going on over here. It seems more like a... A hostel or something. Whole bunch of first aid in that pile. Yeah, and in the back, that's about it. Okay, we do need the cloth though, and I can't use the impact driver because it's about to break and it requires a motor tool part, of all things, to fix it. Mailbox here, handy land, and there's a safe in the floor. I'll try to crack into it. Too easy. That gives us a wiring book and more dukes in cash registers and ATMs. I think it said ATM machines though, so I feel less bad about myself saying that sometimes <laughs> where i come from we just say atm machines even though it's like it's a little redundant to do so all right okay so here's the hotel portion these are some big hotel rooms i don't know that i want to go through this whole place we're going to stumble into a rad here eventually and i'm too encumbered for that off we go well actually we'll hit up the whatever quest i got on the way through the the shade tree auto i think it was and uh we'll do that together crap and then we'll just uh you know take it from there basically oh geez oh geez just rolling through here and i hear an auto shotgun in the distance you hear that we're gonna proceed cautiously we we're, we're the perfect duo to take on anyone with an auto shotgun though two people with sniper rifles They'll never be able to close the distance but it's entirely possible i'll never be able to find out who it was or where they are oh very close very close i do believe it's um in the fast food restaurant here oh yeah way to give up our position man okay just a quick little booster pad here see if i can see what's going on no it's not in here oh right there right there oh my god it's another person in power armor i might be able to scoop him up and hire him oh i'm, I'm dirt broke though it's definitely not gonna happen Hello, Pixie Sticks! Holy crap, he killed one of those radiated dogs. Oh, I want it. I want the meat. I want to eat it all up. Oh, man, you guys are so badass. The Order of Steel shall grow, but I don't have any money right there, so it'll have to grow later on. It was nice to meet you, Pixie Sticks. If you're still around in the area in a couple of weeks, or a couple of days, hopefully, I will be glad to pay you. Man, it's good to know I'm not alone around here, though, especially with Death Claws and... Oh, that hornets? Whatever those freaking flying things were we encountered earlier? This place is definitely uh, not a good place to be alone. Okay, well, here we go. Here's the Shade Tree Auto. Of course, Pixie Sticks is uh, still nearby, so that's good to know. And the arcade is just next door, so I think I'll clear that out just for fun afterward. Right, let's hit it. This place is usually a pretty quick clear job, so I don't think we'll be here for too long. Oh, ignorance is bliss. I'm getting a... Whoops! You can't let these guys sneak up behind me. That's a feral there. 
Here, I got some more ammo for the laser pistol, so... Could let off a couple rounds with this occasionally. Whoop! Man in Black is here! Mistress Nick! What is up, man? We got a whole crew now. Okay, I think uh, the clear job is almost done here. Get rid of Frosty Wheels there. And yep, we're good. Just gotta get some loot. There's some more ammo for my laser pistol there. And a crossbow, which is no doubt doing some more damage than the primitive bow. I'll have to get some bolts for it soon. Is that it? This place is like slim pickings for loot. Oh, forge a headbook and some calipers. That sounds important. Well, now is the opportunity to go into the arcade because we'll have some backup around here. Take care of the spider. And yeah, look at this place. Oh man, it's got a nice... Oh, that whistling. I thought that was a screamer for a second. <laughs> it's got a uh, nice new sign here. I love that. And it also has ferals, I think. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. We even have a rad. A rad with a torch. With the man in black. The man in black is back. Oh, man. Saved by the man in black. Well, maybe not quite saved, but helped. Gotta love the sights on this. Pretty nice. Another feral back there, though. Yeah, we're just in feral territory 24-7 now. And rad, for that matter. Look at this guy. Anything good on him? Not even a torch. The torch is, like, melted into his hand. He's been holding it for so long. Oh my god, yep. Lots more ferals back there. Help! Man, the laser stuff is not exactly that accurate, is it? Whoop! We still have more ferals around here? Oh my god, they're everywhere. Whoa! There, I think area might be clear at this point. So what's this over here? A Nuka Cola vending machine with some Nuka Cherry in it. I don't think I can afford it right now. We're saving up for a lot of different things now. Oh, look at the, the arcade machines in here. That's so cool. Hopefully with all those ferals in here, there's something worth it. Probably some Nuka Cola in here. Yeah, a couple of them. Two Nuka Cherries. We have a Sunset Sarsaparilla there. You've got a payphone. Oh, that's cool. What do we got for games? Elbin Quest, Donkey Kong, Tudor, I think is what that is, never heard of it, Gauntlet, Airdrop coming in, wow, wouldn't it be cool if there was like a restore power mission for this place, <laughs> you could turn everything on, even got a claw machine over here, alright, well where's that airdrop, we need to go swing by there at some point soon, oh, way off to the east, okay, so there might be a bit of a fight on our hands if we go to pick that up, which one was that? That was a Nuka Quantum. Yeah, it can get a little bit competitive for airdrops around here. And I think, yeah, this place has been fully cleared out, it, it seems. Just the bathrooms back here, all empty. And the side door in the back. Is there something maybe on the rooftop, like a main loot? Or let's head up here and see what we can find. Any, any more zombies? Of course. Let's see if we can do this quietly. There we go. I think we're done, pretty much. Big hitter's book there. I think we're up to clubs level five. Not quite even into the baseball bat era yet for crafting. Luckily we did find the one pretty early. And that bird's already dead. I think that uh, our helper there might have taken him out. Whoop, there you are. Now known as Kagarath. I think the name does rotate, just FYI there. And, oh, this chest was just straight unlocked already. Forge ahead, armored up, good set of chest armor there, and some plasma microfusion cells. And our other helper is running into raised construction materials solo. All right, I think I can risk my ankles a little bit here. Okay, we're good. Let's go to the trader and get our reward for this. Whoa, look how the light's shining on Kagarath here now. Okay, come to the top with me. I'm gonna set you up as a sniper on top of this tower to cover me while I'm doing my bartering. Yep, yep, come straight over here. And if I could just say, oh boy, uh, command menu. Lots of options here. Patrol your coded route. Wow, we can code a route for them to patrol. That's crazy. Okay, stay where I'm standing though and cover my back. What do we get for a reward here? Okay, so pipe bombs or Night Stalker book never encumbered at night. That is a great book. I'll take it. Next up, we'll have a fetch over at Jerry's Phil. Might... Jeez, oh, I hate to continue making trips home. I feel like it's all I do these days, but that's just the state of the inventory right now. I could go home and see if I can get some double pocket mods crafted. And we're still six away on the magazines for the workbench. Okay, not making very fast progress there. All right, you can come with me now, and let's head over to Jerry'sville. I'll meet you over there. 
Okay, here we go. This is Jerry's Fill Gas and Snacks. Let's hit it. I think between the two of us, we can probably handle this no problem. What do you think? One way to find out. All kinds of shelves in here too to go through and I'm already like really encumbered. That is totally a feral. You're gonna take point today. Seasick dog here. Yeah, he definitely has trouble when the zombies are crawlers. Maybe not, my bad. Take that back. Oh, sugar butts. Oh, we gotta search the heavy zombies from now on. They're the ones with the candy. Pulled out a hackers from Big Mama the other day. Okay, well it said gas and snacks. I didn't see any snacks, but we do have some passing gas boxes back here. And I think we're going through to the back. Any dogs back here, do you think? Let's just reload. Way too encumbered for this. Okay, got the drop on Trevor here. Oh my. That semi truck is stacked. AK 47. Although, it's not, I don't exactly want to put my 3760 rounds into that and not have any left over. And my baseball bat's about to break, which is not good. In fact, it, it might break while I'm up here. No, we lucked out. We're going to need a repair kit as well then. Maybe that's something I can do. Let's see, forged iron? Nope. I don't have any of that. I do back at the base, I think. I could also dismantle something for some forged iron, but there's only a few things that'll provide it. Oh, er, Kagarath, I'm trying to sneak around over here and Kagarath just comes bailing over the ladder. Okay, well, I think we're not done here. We got to get the supplies robotic sledge there and burning shaft mod. That's pretty cool. But for all intents and purposes, we are done. Just got to go snag up the satchel and get out of here. Holy crap, look at the inventory. Can barely move, which raises the question, can you help me? Oh yeah, show me your inventory. Oh, yes. Just testing some things out here. Yes, you can definitely carry stuff. Take all of this. I paid 15 grand and I'm gonna get my money's worth for it. Look at that. We're completely reset now. All right, Bobby, where'd you leave the satchel in here anyway? I don't see it. It is, oh, it's in this part over here. Oh, we weren't done after all. One more guy down here. Barrel too, Papa Z. Lose this bat any second. Nope, I got a couple more swings left in it. And there we go, mission complete. Just as I turned hungry. You know what I wanna try while I'm right here since we're so hard up for ammo, specifically 762. I'm gonna see if I can pick my way into this police cruiser here and see what's inside. Got it, first try, I'm getting pretty good at this. Watch my bat kagger. Oh, 10 millimeter pistol, what a score. And I think I have 10 millimeter ammo back home too. Oh, I wanna take a look at that at the very least here. Whoa, very cool looking. Gonna have to get into more police cars. There, there's a whole bunch that are around here. There's also a dire wolf over here, which I'm gonna try and snipe. Be eating good in the neighborhood. Yeah, if you, if you could help me out now, that'd be great. Perfect, and oh, oh, ow, got him. <laughs> the, the baseball bat is still going. Ain't gonna last forever though. All right, let's go, oh, one more cruiser up here. Whoop, oh, I'm getting radiated, whoa, it's one of those dogs, run. Whoa, 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 oh my God. I'm losing health due to radiation, holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can bring him way down the street here. I'll take cover up here and reload. Shoot, okay. Yes, okay, the laser pistol did the trick there. Okay, we'll get some more hound meat off of this guy and we'll uh, grill that up in a bit. Okay, geez, that was close. Right, um, quickly then, first aid kit, get my health back. And, uh, yep, let's go down here and pick, uh, no, I've already picked my way in, but just break into the cruiser, you know, get the loot. Ooh, that was close. That could have just been a death claw right there and a death sentence on top of that. What do we got here? Okay, some 762, perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. So we made out really well, despite the fact that we took a quite a beating there. Okay, quest reward. We've got the microfusion cells. That would be for the laser pistols. That's a pretty good one. Or we could do some cobblestone or wild wasteland. Learned how to increase your damage output of the cryo later. I don't know quite what that is. I'm looking more to the near term for what we should take for a quest reward. Before I proceed any further this laser pistol is about to break and that's going to require i think that's like energy weapon parts which means this is going to be pretty much useless to me pretty soon i guess in that case i'll take the cobblestone 
for base construction here soon. And last thing, KZZ radio station to the west. We'll snag up the supplies there at some point, but it's 1821 and there's an airdrop that I'd like to snag. And I have three skill points to spend. Okay, let's take one more into Rifleman. And at this point, I'm starting to get tempted to do Lucky Looter. My loot stage is 59 right now. One point into Lucky Looter will add 5% and looting is also 15% pa faster. So one point there, we go from 59 to still 59 to still 59. Okay. That did nothing for me. What happened? I don't know what happened, but I didn't get any loot stage bonus. Okay, hopefully that kicks in eventually. Doesn't matter, what's done is done, and we are gonna head east. I don't know if this is just into this mountain here. There's some mountains, but it could also be into the wasteland, not sure. We shall find out soon. All right, and it looks like we're the first to the airdrop. No drama here, that's kind of nice. All right, let's get it. Oh, this one takes significantly less time. It was like six. Oh no, it's the lucky looter point. That's what it was. Okay, we do have scrap crafting skill magazine bundle. Read all of those. One forge ahead, some food, and a melee mods bundle. Nothing great. Although we're gonna have to get some supplies, so maybe that grave digger will help us out a little bit. And this is just snow biome for days over here. I think if we were to press south, you can see the border of the wasteland right here. I think the border does something like this it looks like so this all over here is wasteland i have plans to move there eventually but we're not ready for that we're barely ready for where we are right now all right i think we can just ride the bike on the way down all right and with that we are back in town but it is definitely almost nightfall we got another hour until nightfall we are only doing a fetch there but that's it's pretty far away and it's at the it's at a KZZ radio stations. It's just like this one right here. Pretty small place. I mean, shouldn't take too long to snag a satchel out of it. But I'm hungry and I don't have a melee weapon either. So I think the probably the prudent thing to do is to search those ATMs over there. Got the first one open for thirteen hundred dollars. Second one's open. Only cost me one lockpick to get these for three hundred. <laughs> so it kind of balanced itself out in the end. Nope, police car here. I'm feeling lucky with my luck picks. There we go, yep. Definitely a lucky luck pick there. <laughs> oh, hey, a brand new baseball bat. Wow, nice. Oh, and I think that was 50 cal ammo, wasn't it? Yeah, 50 cal. Okay, well, we'll switch the baseball bat over. We have no choice. I'll get a burning shaft mod onto it once I get a level three. In fact, let's go with chain and burning shaft. It's a good combo. And in that case, yeah. Let's go, let's go sneak over here and see what we can do. Got a duffel bag here and another ATM. I'm just on a cash stealing rampage today. Okay, got into that one easy enough. Lost one lockpick though. My goodness, I am swimming in cash. Got 2,600 right now. And look at this, there's another ATM in this gas station here. I think this is like the identical gas station too. Oh, and a soldier with a flare gun, which is kind of cool. What was that? Is there a cop here somewhere? Cop inside? Indeed. Watch out. Well, let's see if I can do this fast. I can do it fast. What do we get? 800 bucks. And that door's about to break. Let's get out of here. What's that? Oh, it's a donut. <laughs> I just pulled a donut out of a cop. Got into another cop car here after getting the donut. This is good for more 762 and some other goodies. I'm on a roll here. And this is the quest location. Let's give this a quick try. Was that a demo? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, there's a demo here somewhere. Okay, and... That'll have to do it. Run, run, run! Nice. That drew in some attention, though. Luckily, I have someone to help me out. Otherwise, I'd be all huddled up in the, next to the campfire at home. All right, let's get in here. Hit it. And we're gonna just really quickly try to find this satchel somewhere. It is on this level. It's just a couple rooms over. Do have a problem. Holy, here we go. And a cop. Careful with the fire, we could burn the whole place down. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh-oh. There's a, definitely a fire here now. Oh, crap. Um, here, get the coffee down and, oh. Ah, ow, it hurts. It's burning. Um, jeez. Ah, crap, how do I get, how do I get back in? I gotta see if I can carve my way through the side over here. Oh, jeez, the, the fire is spreading. 
Look out. Oh, but the zombies are burning in there. I'm gonna be burning too here in just a second. Jeez, can I get in there and get the satchel in time or am I gonna die? Holy crap, the fire is spreading. Just run! Ow! Ow! Oh, I can't do it! I can't do it! Yeah, yeah, I can't do it. Okay. We're gonna have to get out of here. I don't think we, we can get this. Too much fire. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get out of there. Yep. Oh my god, the place is falling apart fast. Here, get the bicycle out of there before we melt the rubber. Yep, the place is collapsing. I don't know if we can still find the, the cache, the supply satchel, or not. All the zombies are working their way out on fire. The man in black has arrived to assist us. All this commotion is surely going to bring in a screamer. Yeah. I don't see a supply satchel here anywhere. It's a couple of little loot items that made it through the fire. That fire moved fast, man. Look at this. Oh, there's a supply satchel right there. It's Trader Bob, you know, with his alien tech. He must be, you know, still looting the UFO, and, and that's what this is. It's hovering up there. Ah, that bastard. I gotta get some of that alien tech from him. Okay, well, we are all good here. There's even still zombies that made it through the whole thing unscathed. The main loot, however... I don't think the main loot made it. It's a locker here. Just a charred up bone inside, some nails, and a generator with some iron. Okay. Well, that fire was vicious. It moved rapidly. And there's nothing left to loot here. So, what I'm gonna do at this stage is head back to the base. I'll get things stashed up and we'll come up with a plan for tomorrow. Basically, the plan tomorrow is to start base construction. We have day nine, and then the horde will come on day 10. There's another one of those radiated hounds there and a screamer. We're out of here. So why don't you guys head back to the base and take first watch. I'll go over to Trader Bob's and collect our reward and we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.